Human trafficking, trafficking is a problem. It isn't going away. But how can you protect yourself and others? San Diego County District Attorney Summer Stefan spoke last night to hospitality workers. Joining us now. Good morning. Always good to see you. Good morning, Sholly. Good to be with you. We've talked about this many times on the show. I think it's still hard for many of us to believe how big of an issue this is in the county. Yeah, the, the issue is big and it's gotten worse, um, especially for kids, especially during the time that our kids were not in school and they were on their computers and tablets. We actually saw an increase because that is where 80% of the predators go to recruit and entice and deceive our kids. And so our human trafficking task force was working double time to protect kids from human trafficking and from these fake uh, recruitment, false advertising, everything that uh, the online social media can be used for. But last night was really a big glimmer of hope because we were able to educate hundreds of hospitality, hotels, motels, restaurants, and airport uh, workers and professionals so they can spot the signs. Who's most uh, at risk? Is it the youth? Is it women? Is it men? You know, women and girls are at the higher risk for sex trafficking, but when it comes to labor trafficking, it's both men and women. Uh, but the age of around 14 to 17, that seems to be where most of our work is happening. That is most of the cases that we're getting. It is that age group. You've got, you know, kids, and when you take away some of their support uh, systems, they're going through their own emotional growth. They can be groomed online to think that this is a love story or a modeling job or something like that, but then find out that it is really to sell them uh, for profit, um, for prostitution essentially being, and child pornography being the main profitable activities. And from what we understand, hospitality field is also where you see this? Yes, I mean, hotels and motels are the number one place for sex trafficking, and this is, why that's where we went. A law passed that we uh, were very excited about that requires a certain amount of training for housekeeping, for clerks, for security at hotels and motels. So we were able to work with the San Diego Harbor Foundation and a really photojournalist, a producer that's amazing to produce six 20-minute uh, segments that are specific to each one of those jobs that both meet the legal requirement, but really provide uh, hundreds more of eyes and ears to help law enforcement spot this activity and help rescue victims. Is that what the training is about for these hospitality workers? That's exactly right. We don't want them to intervene. We want them to report. But lots of times, this is the issue we we really want to bring out. It doesn't look the way people think it's going to look. They're not going to see somebody in chains or with very visible bruising. They have to look for the subtle signs. They've got to look for somebody that looks mismatched, a minor with an adult. Uh, somebody dressed different than the person who's with them. They're not dressed correctly for the conditions. The adult is always speaking for them. So when you're asking for their identification or their information, they're looking away. They are not responding in any way. For room service, seeing lots of condoms, uh, too many towels, different signs to show that something is going on out of the normal. And that's what they need to report. That is what the training is about. And um, it's getting rave reviews because the key is, of course, I provide some of the expert training, but the key is the voice of the survivor from San Diego, who was 14 when she was trafficked for three years and everyone missed her although the signs were very obvious. Her training in this 
six segment uh, training is incredible. I am so proud of her. Well, San Diego County District Attorney Summer Stephan, we always appreciate your time here. Thank you. Thank you so much.